have you ever felt like you just couldn't make up your mind about what you wanted to do or, or be? Like, pro wrestler, television star. Professional football player, television star. Eyeglass model, television star. Well, there are two inventors who had a similar but soggy dilemma. Submarine, jet ski. Jet ski, submarine. Television star. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Yeah, television star. It's okay. It takes a second to get your head around what you're seeing. This high-speed hot rod sea creature is called Sea Breacher, and it's the innovative idea of this man. This is Robert Innes, one of the co-founders of Innespace and creator of the Sea Breacher. A native of New Zealand, Rob, along with American co-founder Don Piazza, came up with this custom boat, jet, submarine wonder thing. I went to Redding, California to have my very own encounter with the Sea Breacher. So what is a Sea Breacher? A Sea Breacher is a submersible watercraft, so it's not like a regular boat. It actually flies underneath the water. Like an airplane flies into the sky, we fly under the water. The fuselage is made of hand-laid fiberglass to withstand the impact of diving and landing. The windows are half-inch aircraft-grade acrylic, and the controls are all stainless steel and marine hardware. Every Sea Breacher is as unique as its owner because each one is custom-made for individualized awesomeness. That's a word, right? The Sea Breachers can go underwater, but since the snorkel is the air intake for the engine in the cockpit, it generally stays above the surface. Some models do barrel rolls, and they can open up to speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. What is some of the technology that went into each of these? Um, well, it has a flux capacitor in the back seat, and that actually allows you to travel back in time. I, I reckon you're lying. <laughs> okay, right, that's not true. <laughs> a sea breacher uses the controls like an aeroplane, but it uses the engine and jet drive out of a personal watercraft, so it's kind of a hybrid, if you will. I strapped in, and Rob piloted the shark. The Sea Breacher definitely has a cockpit feel. First, we tried flying across the water surface. <laughs> then, there was a lot of green wonder as we submerged. Shot out of the water again. Splash back down. Gradually, Captain Rob made the sea breacher maneuvers even more hair raising. But all of this adrenalized innovation had to begin somewhere, specifically here with this prototype. This is Sea Breacher 001. It's almost 20 years old now, but we still use it. This one-seater dolphin started with a 110 horsepower engine and an F-16 canopy. How much does this mean to you? Is this one of your This is my baby. This is my baby. People, are, people have offered to buy this, and I just I can't let it go. It's just too, it's too cool. A starting place for what has become a labor of love and grown into a playground of innovation, design, and radical cool.